Hello friends, and thank you for joining me today, where we are playing Supernatural. We played the first game in the series earlier today, called Super Normal. And let me tell you, there was nothing normal about that game. And I expect the same from this guy, now from this game. And we are playing the same protagonist, Mr. Wyatt. We are a detective. So let's begin investigating. Let's have Vsync on. Let's begin investigating this new case. Let's begin. This is the same as the first one. There will there will be only one autosave in the game. After that, everything that happens we will be irreversible until you finish the experience. When you pause the game, the gameplay will not stop. You will only be able to change settings, but the game itself will continue. I designed it this way so that you cannot avoid fear in crucial moments. Death at the hands of a paranormal entity does not mean you will have to start the game from scratch. Although it does impact one of the three endings you can unlock. The game was created by a single developer and lasts around two hours. Good luck. Single developer developed this. Begin experience. And the first one was awesome. And I am Detective expecting Wyatt, much of the man, same. I can't believe I'm talking to you. I've been a huge fan of your work, especially that Sakamoto case. That was the first the way one. You it was pure genius. Thank you. Your dedication is legendary. And that's why I knew you were the right Who's person snoring? to reach out to. I've got this strange situation at my place that's been keeping me up at night. Well, Colton, I appreciate the kind words. Nice to meet you. Now, tell me, what's going on? It's about Mrs. Susan. Who's snoring in the background? The lady helping my pregnant fiance, Kaylee, and me around the house. We brought her in because she seemed very lonely. She's practically family, living right next to our house. About a week ago, she disappeared, gone. Not answering calls, missing her usual hours. Disappeared for a week? That's definitely cause for concern. Anything unusual about our behavior before she vanished? Yeah, that's the thing. She started acting strangely, calling us by different names, humming these bizarre tunes. It really freaked out Kayla. She went to stay with her parents for a bit. I couldn't just leave Mrs. Susan alone. I thought maybe it's dementia or something. Can you look into it, Detective? I can. Oh, and don't worry about Bashka. Hopefully, she'll still be sleeping when I get back in a few hours. But I gotta warn you, she can be one noisy little girl sometimes. I think it's the dog snoring in the background. Bashka. I love dogs. Yeah. And I'll start an investigation right away. You go be with Kaylee. And about the money, don't worry. You'll find Mrs. Susan. She's been like a grandmother to you two, right? Absolutely, detective. She's been like family. We don't have much, especially <laughs> the dog, though. This house. <laughs> oh, there, she, there she is. Hello, us, doggy. Know? Well, I'm heading straight to Kaylee's parents now. Please give me a call as soon as you find out anything. We're really worried about her. And I tell you, if this entity is going to hurt that dog, I am going to kick its ass. Hey, Pashka. How you doing, buddy? You alright? Yeah, you sleep tight. Okay, let's search for clues. To open or close the door, drag the door with the mouse or the right stick of the controller. We are using a mouse. So, so let's search for any clues that we can find. We can turn the lights on and off using light switches. Okay. I'll just check if the recording is okay. Yep. We are recording alright. Do we have a flashlight? We do. So let's start looking for clues where this housemate might have gone. Move the camera to find a clue. To examine it, hold down the zoom button. Keep in mind that there may be more than one clue 
in a viewport. Yeah. Just like in the first one. Hello. This is an automated message from Pulse Grainer Bank. We regret to inform you that your mortgage payment for the property is currently overdue for $95,331. Holy moly. That's Please a lot. Be advised that it is imperative to settle this outstanding payment as soon as possible to avoid any further complications. Almost a hundred thousand dollars. This matter is greatly appreciated. If you have any questions or concerns regarding your mortgage payment, please do not hesitate to contact our customer service department. Thank you for your cooperation. He wasn't lying about their financial situation. No. <laughs> Found out about Colton's mortgage debt. Yep. Hmm. Might that have something to do with her disappearance? Probably. Since that's a clue. Is this her purse? No? Okay. So the first one, super normal, had a terrible ending. You know, terrible in a good way. I didn't I didn't expect that ending. So if you haven't seen my first video, super normal, go check it out before seeing this one. Or I guess it doesn't matter in which order you watch them. Cause this is a completely other case than the first one. But the story in the first one was absolutely Wow. Blew my mind. Okay, we got one thing established. We are a vampire. We don't have a reflection. Which means we are a vampire, right? Oh, did we have some kind of clue here? Was that just that's just the the light switch, okay. I did that. Well, let's have a quick look around. Anything in here? No? Okay. Have you already seen everything downstairs? Hey, we can sprint in this one. We couldn't sprint in the first one. Yay! We can move a little faster. Jason? Is that Jason for his mask? No, it's not. Hello? It doesn't sound like we are alone in here. Hello? Weird symbol. I wonder if it could relate to the case. Yes. It's not a pentagram, because pentagram is reverse, yeah? So I think that's a... what's it called? A David star or something like that? Okay, just nothing else. Okay. So where's that growling coming from, man? That sounded terrible. Okay. They left the computer on. That's the same background as Not in the first now. one. So I guess we can look at video footage from there. Yeah, we have surveillance cameras around. Just like in the first one. Final notice. So hard to be young these days. <laughs> yeah. It's also hard to be old, you know? 
Or I'm not old, I'm pretty young, but... Also a little bit old. So that growling though, where the hell did it come from? This looks like it's a much bigger house than the first one. The hell is that, man? Another child victim? God, please no. Please no, yeah. Hopefully not. These drawings are unsettling. To say the least. Oh, and the first one. I don't want to spoil things if you haven't seen it. Hello? Who turned off the lights? I didn't. Okay, we can't speak. There, will, there is voice recognition in this game. We can speak to the entity. How big is this house, man? Can't we turn on the lights in here? Usually there's a switch, you know, right inside the door. Oh, it's right here. Behind the door. That's weird placement. There we go. Heard a door opening. Squeaking door. Hello? Can't use voice recognition feature at the moment. Okay. This is a huge ass house, man. Compared to the first one. But this will be a bigger case, I suppose. Ultrasound of a child. You're probably the client's fiance. How long Why do I have to wait? Here? How long do I have to wait? Well, nine months. <laughs> Is the normal? Different date, same ultrasound. This time it says the truth will come out soon. Uh, okay. I have a feeling this case is closely tied to the client's fiance. Sure looks like it. I got just got an achievement that we found all the clues in here. I haven't seen that in the other rooms. The lights are all blinky down there now. Okay, we can't get in there. Hello? Who turned off the lights? Still can't use voice recognition? No. Okay, now the lights turned off. Can we turn it on now? Yep. We are definitely a vampire. There wasn't anything wrong. With the first mirror that we saw. Hello? Why did all these lights go off? Can't see any light switches. Or the living room here. This lamp is too low. 
Here's one. So where's the light switch for this one? I don't know. Hello? It's just the thunder. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me, man. Where do we find some more clues? A bash guy is still sleeping. That's good. Almost like my place. <laughs> also the first place we investigated. Also had dirty plates, but they had blood prints on them, dried blood. Is that it? Oh, there's more to see here. Really burnt carburetors. Like something's been burning here. Uh huh. Found all the clues in the kitchen. Okay. Lights are turned off here again. What the hell? Did I hear footsteps upstairs? Leave the lights on, please. I'm afraid of the dark. Hearing weird stuff. Lights in the kitchen is off again. God damn it! I said leave the lights on. God damn it! Any clues in here that we missed? My vision just got blurred for some reason. In game, I mean. Lights are blinking in here. Hello? more that we haven't seen here I hope everything works out for them yeah found all the clues in the office okay is that why the lights were blinking because we hadn't found all the clues Make sure we found everything in here. Yeah, we did get uh, an achievement for having found all the clues. I brought a better flashlight. This one is keeps keeps blinking. Ooh, a brass under the bed. A ton of women's laundry. 
A ton? <laughs> the three of them. She overlooked it, or did she set it up? There's too much of it for it just to be a weird coincidence. Really? Okay, just got an achievement that we found all... All the clues in here. Okay, that's our only autosave. What's the sound? Is that a... Hello? Who's moaning? What are we looking at here? Sound is coming from in here. Okay, have some lights in here, please. Other than my flashlight. I am focusing on this, but nothing happens. And we can focus on something that means there's a clue. I can see it. I was sure it was going to be this thing. What is it if not that thing there? Hearing a lot of weird stuff around here. Hello? Still can't use voice recognition. It must be something with the sound. Light is really acting up. Okay, I can't press that for some reason. The light switch. I was from here. Chased out the password for another two hours again. I'm out. Yeah, <laughs> we did that the last time. Got your password? Yes. Hey, Kaylee, if you forgot your computer password for the hundredth time, I've scattered your toy figures around the house and I've labeled the boxes with your login and password. First is the Chikensky, then the Kowski, followed by the Rabitsky. An ultimate for login is the Sharkski, and lastly the Katski. The password starts with the Fishki, then a Tetiski, a Robotski, second to last with a Kulski, and finally a Clownski. Have a blast, sweetheart. Thank you.
so we have to hear that oh! so do we have to put up with that sound until we find the password and the username here's the cat's key that is three so we have to remember all that Really? With all that Katsuki and Bloopski and Poopski and... Do we really have to put up with this sound? Are you serious? That can't be right. Don't we have a journal or something we can write them in? We have one other. It's the shark key. It's six. You really have to remember all that? First is the Chikensky. You know what? I have to take a photo of this with my phone. <laughs> then I have to write it down on a note or something here. Ready to write down? Really? I don't want to hear that sound all the way through the game. That kind of sucks. So this was the cat's key, meaning. Katsuki was... That's the last digit. It's three. Okay. Really? We have to hear that sound? That's gonna be annoying. This one was the shark ski. I'm not gonna remember all this. This is gonna be... I don't know what to call it. It's gonna suck. This was what? The cool ski. What was the first digit? Chikensky. Let's find the Chikensky and push that in and then find the second one and and push that in and so on. What's this? It's the Chikensky. This is the first digit. First digit is 8. Have we found the Kowski? Not that one. Oh. Oh, eight eight is the first digit. Oh, okay, not going that way. That sounds scary. Hopefully it won't disappear, you know. That, that what we push in will stay there. Eight. What if I press X? Hopefully you stay there. 
The second one was Kowski, right? Yep. Let's find Kowski. Is it in here somewhere? Here's one. That's Robotsky. It's not the one. Hello? That sound is going to annoy me, man. As long as we stay downstairs, we don't really hear it. Almost. Any of these toys in here? No? Here's one. Is this Kowski? Oh, this, this is Fishki. <laughs> this name stuff. No other toy in here? No? Okay. Klauski. Please be the Kowski. No, that's the Tetiski. I don't think it's downstairs though. Let's go back up. And listen to that awful sound. Hello? Again, Katsuki. Just making a mental note where they all are. Hello? Still, still can't uh, talk to them. Sharsky. We're looking for the Kowski, right? Yeah. Where the hell is it? This was the Chikensky, right? Sure was. Which one was this? Cool ski. gonna take a while it's like I said we're gonna use two hours <laughs> run around and find the username and the password that's the Rabitsky hello No 
where the F is the cow's key? Haven't we looked all around now? I feel like we have. Light is blinking in the bathroom. Does that mean the next clue is in here? No? This is not the cow ski. It's the fish ski. So that didn't mean that the next clue was in here. seconds I can't cheat. <laughs> I was not trying to cheat. Where the hell is Kowski? Tediski. Boy on here, no. Twenty-four-seven. All these flies. You should clean up here, man. Creepy, creepy bitch. There are not that many toys here for all, for all those digits. No? Yeah, I looked everywhere. There's no cowski. Where there's no cowski around here. Haven't we looked everywhere? Can we turn this around and there's a cow on the other side or something? <laughs> no? Okay.
Yeah, I hear you. Can't press on anything here. Chikensky and Kowski, followed by Rabitsky. <laughs> oh, and we have to remember it because it's not saved here. God damn it. This is gonna be hard, man. I think this was pretty unnecessary, right? Hello? I see you. You bitch. This is gonna be much longer than two hours. must be missing something, right? Because there are not that many toys here. doing this guys how the hell ever are we supposed to do this I don't know I hear you. I don't know where that moaning is coming from. Go out. Yeah, I've been in every room and there's no Kowski anywhere. I must be missing something. Right? Or what is it? Two seconds, guys. Must be some other way to to do this. This can't be right. Two seconds. Yes. 
didn't see that one. Kowski is hiding six, here. Seconds again. <laughs> so let's try this. Eight, nine, two, six, three. Eight, nine, two, six, three. I'm cheating here because I don't want to put you through this that I have to look around for two hours for the password. to put you through this that's why i'm cheating yes we got it <laughs> i'm sorry guys i had to do that because yeah. this this was annoying me Babe, is Kaylee home? Have you fixed her cam yet? I was thinking we could have a little, you know, hour time while she's away. Oh, oh sexy hey, Bella. Bella. Yeah. Kaylee's with her parents tonight. What's up? Seriously? You sound a bit off, babe. Is everything okay? I was really looking forward to seeing you. Yeah, just a bit tired. You know, it's been a hectic day. Tired, huh? You sure? You sound like something's up. I was Nothing's really up. Hoping to come over. What's the deal? Just need a bit of downtime. Mrs. Susan is missing. Mrs. Susanne is missing? You're being a bit vague, babe. I was really hoping to spend some alone time with you. What's the real story? Look, it's just not a good night, and I need to take it easy. Can we catch up some other time? Sure, but you're not fooling me. Why are you being so distant? We had plans, and now you're backing out. Bill, it's not the right time. I promise we'll make up for it. I need to go, man. Catch up later. Kaylee won't be thrilled about this. No. He's having an affair with Bella. So here we have all the cameras. Hello? Pashka is awake. Oh, there was someone behind me. I didn't see it because I backed up because I saw Pashka here. But someone was standing behind me, dude. Holy crap. How do I get back out of this? Like so. Giggle. Okay, we can search stuff here. Pashka? And now, I believe... Now we can't use voice recognition still. Pashka! What's wrong with you? What's wrong, doggy? Oh! You can use an internet browser on computer to search for text clues you found. Crawler. Let's search crawler then. You okay, Pashka? You okay, doggy? Yeah, good boy. Or girl. Okay, let's search crawler.
Crawler. What's that? The Pennsylvania Times. Remembering Miss Susan Crawler. Tragic loss sparks a community's reflection on mental health. On July 15th, 2020, that's exactly four years ago today, the small town of Greenfield, Pennsylvania was rocked by a tragedy that left its residents. Susan Crawler, four years ago? But she was missing as of now, right? Okay, let's continue. Shock and mourning. 80 year old Miss Susan Crawler, a beloved member of community, had taken her own life by hanging herself from a tree in her backyard. The news of her passing spread quickly throughout the town, with many struggling to come to terms with the loss of such a cherished member of the community. Miss Crawler was known for her kind heart and generosity towards others. She volunteered at the local senior center where she spent countless hours knitting blankets and scarves for those in need. Her neighbors described her as a gentle soul who always had a smile on her face and a warm greeting for everyone she encountered. However, despite her outgoing personality and dedication to helping others, Miss Crawler struggled with depression and anxiety for much of her life. Well, I can relate. She had been receiving treatment for these conditions, but it seems that even with therapy and medication, she could not find peace within herself. In the days following her death, the town came together to honor Miss Crawler's memory. A memorial service was held at the local church, where dozens of people gathered to pay tribute to her life. Many spoke of how much she meant to them and how her impact would be felt for years to come. Two years later, the wounds of Miss Crawler's suicide are still raw in the hearts of those who know her best. While there's no easy answer as to why someone would take their own life, it is clear that mental health struggles can affect anyone, regardless of age or circumstance. It is hoped that through Miss Crawler's tragic passing, more attention will be brought to the importance of mental health awareness and resources. For sure, there need to be much more focus on mental health. Can we use voice recognition now? Okay, now we can sprint with shift. So I guess the controls for voice command or voice recognition, something else. It's space. Because in the first game, super normal, it was shift. Now it's space. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Is anyone here? Are you friendly? So yeah, it doesn't work yet. We can find out by using Q here. the sound I think it's coming from around the corner here hello did I see someone there hello That's the cleaning lady, that's Susan. Oh, are you okay, love? Oh, you met charming Miss Susan.
scary bitch. Colton, it's me again. Listen, just stay quiet for a sec, okay? I need to tell you something. So, I did some digging online, and guess what? Mrs. Suzanne died some time ago. Three years to be exact. Isn't this crazy? I mean, why didn't we hear about it right when it happened? Why did you see her this whole fucking time? Something is not right here. It's like someone no. wanted to sweep it under the rug or something. This is all so bizarre. I need some time to process this, and you should probably see a shrink or something. Unless this is some damn ghost business. I'm done. Don't try to reach out to me. I'm dead serious. Okay. So yeah, she died some time ago. No, three years. So in the last game, when we could see that microphone that you can see on the right side of the screen, we were supposed to not say anything or move. But it looks like that's not the case in this game. That just shows if the if the game can hear our microphone. So we can ask some stuff. We can see what phrases we can use here these are all the same as last time where are you which side Show yourself. I can hear someone walking out here. <gasps> Holy crap. Disturb me. I won't. If you leave me alone, I won't disturb you. I'll go home if you want me to. What else can we say here? Are you friendly? Of course, yeah. Can you help me? <laughs> Holy crap, you scary Susan! Cameras will show you the way. Keep your voice down. Maybe we don't. My poor old heart. Don't do that, please. Holy crap. So yeah, we don't want to speak too loud. So keep your voice down. That's what we are going to do. That's us sitting there. I hope you guys can hear me because I must not speak too loud. Bashka? Oh, Bashka is standing there by the, by the stairway. Or stairwell. Let's go see Pashka. So yeah, I guess that ghost that is speaking to us is friendly. But Susan 
is not friendly. Right? I hope you guys can hear me. Because if I speak too loudly... That happens. We have to stay quiet. I'll try to speak loudly just to show you what happens. Vashka? What's wrong, girl? What's wrong? In that contraption, where night after night, ere we slipped into sleep, our gazes intertwined. Beholding our cherished TV series, just you, me, and our Bashka. Okay. What can we use that for? Can you help me? So we can cherish TV series. Contraption. Should make a search for. Hello, I see you, bitch. Search for contraption, maybe. Is that the name of the series? TV series? Bashka now. Hello? Are you? You mean that you are following me? Is that what you mean? What happened? What do you want? Colton? Do you mean Colton? Can you help me? Ishpashka. Pashka, girl, boy, where are you? Pashka? Where is she? Or he? Are you sleeping again? Yeah. He's not showing me the way anywhere. He's sleeping. He 
He's not showing me anywhere. <laughs> Go look through the cameras again. I see you, bitch. Get away from me, please. Let's have a look through the cameras again. behind me, luckily. through that door Must be something with that quote. Well, we did search on contraption. What else could it be? In that contraption, where night after night, Irvi slipped into sleep, gaze intertwined, beholding our cherished TV series. Just you, me, and our Bashka. Just search TV series, maybe. No, hmm. Can you help me? Again trying to... In that contraption where night after night Irvi slipped, slipped into sleep, our gaze has intertwined beholding our cherished TV series. Just you, me, and our Pashka. In that contraption. In that contraption of sleep, that must be a bed. Right? That's a contraption where we go every night and go to sleep. <coughs> I'm sorry, I just had to cough. Please don't kill me. Okay, I guess it must be the bed in the master bedroom, okay? Where our gazes intertwined. What the hell is this? Is 
zoom in a hole to collect a photo piece. Okay. That wasn't meant. They were watching TV series in the contraption. Okay, okay. Can you help me? No, because Pashka is sleeping. Downstairs. I have to be quiet or else we die, you know? I don't know how... In which volume I can speak. I think it's only if we... Like scream or something. But Pashka is sleeping. Can you help me? Pieces of my past. Okay. I'll try and find pieces of your past. So do you mean like find more anomalies? Like the one we found on that TV? Is this a piece of your past? No? Maybe on Pashka herself or himself? I'm not sure if it's a he or she. Hey Pashka. Hey boy or girl. Okay, no. Can you help me? No, cause he or she is sleeping. You will not show me anything. <laughs> we have to see him through the camera maybe. see any more of those anomalies there let's have a quick browse through the cameras oh you freaky bitch Now Pashka is not in her in her bed. Pashka? Where are you girl? Oh, she's in here now. Okay. In the nursery. Let's go to the nursery then. <laughs> Holy crap. I almost scream. If we scream, we die. In that place where each time I should have assisted you in cleansing our shared garments of the daily crime. If only I could rewind time. Okay, so that must be the laundry room. But where's the laundry room? Uh, where's the laundry room? Not in here? Here's the laundry room. Did I talk too loud? Was I too loud? 
Come on now. I don't think I spoke too loud. Two seconds, guys. I wasn't speaking that loud. God damn it. Still, she killed us. So we have to be very quiet. Let's find the laundry room again. You can use the internet. But that's crawler. We have already seen that. Do you want me to search it again? Maybe? Would that make sense? Oh, that's the same thing. I've already seen that. Can you help me? Pieces of pictures from my past. Can you help me? Let's get as many hints as we can. Can you help me? Yeah, but she pointed me in here. But we have seen that already. Ah, here we go. Another piece of the picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see. out where Pashka are now Pashka will guide me I don't think Pashka is sleeping She is barking here somewhere. There she is. Okay. Freaky bitch. But well, we are trying to to help her, yeah? Pick her out. What happened to her? So why is she haunting us? There, where I dwell too long, crafting art with labor, yet destroying us in process. Crafting art with labor, so there must be a hobby. <laughs> room. I was fucking quiet. I was whispering. God damn it! Why 
Why stop? What do you mean? Is this your hobby room? Was this your hobby room? I don't remember have seen a hobby room. This is the nursery. Ah, here, of course. Ah, I see it. I see it. Okay. Suppose there are more torn pieces. I'm sorry, I can't speak louder, you know? <laughs> I hope you guys can hear me. She's right behind me. She's right behind me. Freaky bitch. in here now she's not there what do I see that place where I never truly existed, where we could have forged countless culinary memories. That's the kitchen. Get away from me, bitch. I don't see it. Do you see it better in darkness? No. Where's that last piece? It must be in the kitchen, yeah? something culinary I hear this but that was the fourth piece I don't know how many there are through the camera again, see where, where Bashka is now. <coughs> I think we have to see Bashka through the camera where it is to trigger to trigger it, right? Or else it won't show. Bedroom again. Let's head there. That's this way, right? Maybe not. It's in there.
In that realm where you nurtured your flawless beauty, tenderly anointing your skin with fragrant elixirs, elixirs, your own moistened hands. That must be the bathroom. The bathroom downstairs. Is there another bathroom? Don't remember. Wow. Why is everything so weird now? Get away from me, bitch. not in the bathroom I hear this how many pieces are there okay. already played for one and a half hour many pieces are there, man? Let's find out where Bashka is now. She's sleeping. Now I hear her barking. Oh, she's sitting here. I hear you. I hear you, girl. In that place where it all ended, and I wander innocently, seeking you, my love. How am I supposed to know where it ended? am I supposed to know? Can you help me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it all ended. Might we see her on the camera where she is wandering now? Oh, I see the blood trail. Okay. That must be it. Look at this blood trail. Can we see it in real life as well? Or only on camera? Nope. Let's follow it. this hello <laughs> 
probably sleeping. Can you help me? doing the same thing over and over again. Let's find Bashka on the camera. Where are you girl? Freaky bitch. help from Bashka here. She's just sleeping. That's not a lot of help. Can you help me? Is not helping. <laughs> Holy crap, you bitch. Why are you not helping, girl? Does this lights have to be off? Will you help me now, now girl? Can you help me? been in all the rooms now let's have a look one more time and we have to go room by room to find another quote if we don't find it here now if Bashka won't show us the way have we found anything in here yeah we have also in here. I also found in here. And here. find the last piece ourselves it looks like so we have to go room by room finding it it be yeah we have seen these Must 
be a room downstairs then. Right? Hello? Spashka is not helping anymore. She's not helping. <laughs> She's not helping at all. She's sleeping. Just sleeping. You should help me. You're supposed to help me, girl. And okay, now I looked everywhere myself. Come on, Bashka, help me. Where are you? By your side. Okay. I think that just means it's following me and helping me. Do something. See me? Come on, Bashka, you gotta help me. Come on, girl. Just there sleeping. I wonder if the light has to be on, maybe. Is that a thing? Let's turn on the lights everywhere. Can you help me? She's not guiding me. She's sleeping. She's lazy, you know? So she said we have to put all the pieces together. Do we have to?
Do we have to pull them together somewhere on something? Do we have all the pieces? Is that it? Is that why this lazy ass dog is not helping us anymore? <laughs> no, I just spent so many time on putting all the lights on. Oh, they're all switched off again. me girl Why is this door locked now? What? Can you help? Can you help me? Why is that door locked now? Zoom to select and move around the mouse wheel, left stick to rotate. Okay, I guess we have all the pieces then. Does this go here? I think so, right? This can't be right. <coughs> Looks like we need more pieces then. Yeah. This one is definitely here. found anything to use the internet browser for? Is 
this it? I think that must be it, right? Oh, come on. I think it says Fulton. His name is. Let's try it. I think that says Fulton, right? No? Okay. Now, what's it say? What does it say then? Haven't we gathered this correctly? Oh, just hold on. Okay. Who's hot on? I guess we'll find out. Pennsylvania Times, a hero of sheriff's bravery. For the years since the daring rescue in Pennsylvania. Oh, this is long reading. Hopefully we can speak as loud as we want. There's no indicator here. In the small town of Greenfield, Pennsylvania, nestled among the picturesque landscapes and rolling hills, there exists a story of extraordinary bravery that has become a beacon of hope and inspiration for the community. I can hear she's behind us.
don't want to speak too much because I can hear the bitch right behind us. Someone's at the door. <laughs> Get away from me, bitch. Hello? I'm coming. Well, I'll be done. What's going on here? I'm Detective White. Just conducting an investigation. Detective, you say? What brings you to this house? Who the this guy? This Folks around here can't get a moment's peace. My apologies, Sheriff. I'm here on behalf of the new residents who requested an investigation into the disappearance of Mrs. Susan, the former occupant of this house. Mrs. Susan? Bless her soul. She passed away three years ago. Why would anyone be poking around her old place now? Well, Sheriff, sometimes these cases have a way of lingering. The new residents are concerned, and they just want some closure. Closure, huh? Well, I reckon that's understandable. But what's with all the noise? Ah, what yes, noise? I'm afraid my investigation can get a bit noisy at times. Just trying to leave no stone unturned, you know? Hmm, I suppose I understand. He but if you don't drunk. mind me asking, why now? Why all this fuss over Mrs. Susan after all these years? It's my duty to follow up on any leads, Sheriff. Right now, my leads point me to this house. Well, all right then. I'll leave you to it, Detective. But try to keep it down, will you? Don't need the whole town up in arms over some ghost story. So that's the Sheriff. Sheriff Halton. That we just googled. He seemed drunk. So what now? Can you help me? How do I do that? Use zoom to select and move around a mouse wheel or left stick to rotate. So we have to rotate them like that somehow. I don't seem to be able to rotate anything. Do I need to find some fuses or... to rotate the fuses or what the hell does this mean though can't rotate anything Can't rotate shit here, man.
thought I was going to choose one of these thingies here and... I don't get it. What do you want me to do there? I can zoom in on everything but I can't rotate or move anything. I must be missing something here. Yeah? Can you help me? I'm trying to, but I can't do anything with these fuses. <laughs> what would be the meaning of Turning these fuses around. There must be something else to this. But what? This video has been going on for long enough. Um, two seconds. That's right. We have to We have to find fuses. No. They can be everywhere. Let's put this one in. See what happens. Yep, we have one here. So this is a white one. It has to be in B and turn down, I suppose. Isn't that what it means? I think so. We'll find out. Say anything. Why are you killing me? God damn it, you bitch. Oh 
Well, this video has already been two hours long. <laughs> I'm sorry for making it so long. Take it. Oh no. I am colorblind. Which one is this? I think that's G. But I'm not sure, because I'm colorblind. It could be this one, it could be that one. Damn it. Same symbol. I have to be very quiet. <laughs> Scary bitch. I hate you. Take it, please. Thank you. Take it, please. sure we got all of them in here I think so too much because yet be quiet or we die you know take it thank you and more of them in here nope don't think so I'm gonna have a problem with my color blindness and all these blue uses. They're all blue to me. That 
plus all in here. Must be some in here, right? No? Okay. Let's move on. This red one, isn't it red? Put it here. Oh, that's the f okay. We see if it's correct from there. Okay. So I guess this one is this one, right? Yep. Which one is this? Is it this one? No? Is it this one? As I told you, I'm colorblind. <laughs> yep. Okay. This one, is it this? No, then it must be this one, right? No? Ah, it's this one. Uh huh. We're doing it. And this one is that here? No. Might be this one then. No. There it goes. Okay. I am very colorblind. <laughs> I'm telling you. There, of course. Here, okay. This one must be here. No. You sure? And which one is this? I think this is D. This one. Okay, I need to find three more. Three more fuses. <laughs> really doesn't help when everything gets so blurry. Fuses. My bad eyes, I am bound to miss them. You know? 
They could be anywhere in the house. I think I just randomly die, you know? I was so quiet. Don't understand. Where the F could this last three fuses be? I did look all the way around earlier. I don't know if they hide in really weird places, maybe. Need to have a sharp eye everywhere. I forgot about that. There's one. Two to go. Here's one. Here's the last one. Awesome stuff. That should be all of them. We did it! And then what? Can you help me? Restore the power! I have restored the power. I've done that. Have restored the power. Can you help me? For real? Can you help me? Find the fuel, sir. I 
have. And we have power. Right? We have done it. What more do you want me to do? You have restored power. Why? Where are you? Okay, this fucking time, I won't let anyone escape. What? Hello? Why do you want to burn them? Burn down the house? Oh shit! This can't go beyond the walls of this house. I gotta do it. Sorry. Oh shit! How many how many shots can he take? We are almost dead. I left her, and she told me, that scumbag, it's all her fault. Is he dead? He's dead. So he loved her? killed him and he fell through he fell through <laughs> I did so now what can you help me I have everything restored to power There's where she's buried. Oh, so she was cheating with someone else? We unlocked a good ending. In a stunning revelation, Detective Wyatt unraveled the dark truth behind the tragic death of Miss Susan and her husband. The culprit was none other than their revered Sheriff Robert Halton. A man of authority and respect in the community. Jealousy had consumed him when Miss Susan chose another over him, leading him to commit a heinous act of vengeance. Sheriff Halton's manipulation of local news painted him as a hero, disguising his own sinister deeds. He orchestrated the fire that engulfed Miss Susan's home while her family sat down to supper, ruthlessly ending their lives. But it wasn't enough, he went further, concocting a false narrative of heroism to cover his tracks. Miss Susan, far from taking her own life, as the fabricated reports suggested, was found to have been pregnant when the coroner examined her body. The extent of Sheriff Holton's depravity knew no bounds. Yet, in the face of such darkness, Detective Wyatt emerged as a beacon of truth and justice. With unwavering determination, he pieced together the evidence, unmasking Sheriff Holton's wild actions and bringing him to justice. When the police arrived at the scene, Wyatt stood amidst the tears, a hero in the midst of tragedy. 
despite the pain and sorrow, his resolve remained unbroken, a testament to his commitment to seeking out the truth, no matter how dark or daunting the path may be. I don't know guys, this game was okay. I think I liked the first one better. I think the story was a little better in the first one. But this had some other interesting gameplay elements to it. Like getting help from our beloved Bashka, the dog. I like that part. But there were also some very daunting tasks. You know? I don't know. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments down below if you liked Super Normal or Supernatural the best. And if you haven't done so already, please leave a like and subscribe. We only do horror content on this channel. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, bye bye.